praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, and double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone, Bashem Rakak Wadash. My name is Yakaba from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. This is the God of Edom, Esau, in pre Islamic Arabia, or pre Islamic Ishmael. All right, Kwas. All right, this is the God that the Edomites worshipped before they were conquered by Israelites under the Hasmonean dynasty. All right, they were forced to become. Uh, they, well, they were forced to observe certain laws, but the Edomites never observed them like the circumcision, so to speak. All right, they still practice customs of their previous religion all right and herod his family line proves that they committed murder adultery these are things that are against the the uh, torah so they mixed the say the laws statutes commandments with their old religion the worship of kwas now you can find kwas in the bible but not by itself uh, similar to uh, the meaning of Esau, the true meaning of Esau, right, which means wasted away. Now, to find Quas in the Bible, you have to go to Ezra, where we at, and Nehemiah, Ezra two fifty three, and Nehemiah seven fifty five, and it shows up as Bar Quas. All right, they say they don't know what it means. But it may mean bow, quas. All right, because when you look it up in H thirteen o two, bar quas. So there's two scriptures it shows up as, as a name. All right, the children of bar uh, barcus, the children of barcus. All right, in the Hebrew, it's showing up as well bar. You break the word down, bar, which means son. So we have Bar Quas. So Quas is the god of the Edomites. All right, Quas, Qua Wasa, Quas. All right, and it's saying son of the cut off. All right, uh, uncertain. What's that? Derivation. Derivation. So I think they're, they're saying they don't know what it means. Uh, meaning unknown. Bar Quas. All right. Now, when you look up, let's say, let's go back to Quas. It says that the word is never used on its own in the Tanakh. However, it does unambiguously appear twice, which we saw. I'll show you again, real quick. Go over here. Quas. Quas. This is the god of the Edomites. Quas. Bar Quas, son of Quas. All right. See all over the place. <laughs> it's a painter down here. Uh, painter bow unknown. Okay. Uh, son of the cutoff unknown. Meaning unknown. And painter. All right. All right that's next quas. It says Quas became identified with Kuza the archer in the North Arabian or North uh, pan Pantheon, the no North Ishmaelite Pantheon. I worship both as a mountain and a weather god. Similarly, of the similarity of the name could have permitted an assimilation of Quas to the Arabian god of the rainbow, uh, Quas uh, Quza. All right, this is why certain people think. That the Arabs are Edomites because they mix themselves with each other. All right. The Edomites were assimilated into, say, uh, sort of uh, Israelite culture. All right, which they didn't keep, you know, it, to the letter. They incorporated the Nakwas within, you know, the Tanakh and Torah, the worship of the what we call the Bible today. All right, and the Arabs. They mix themselves with the Edomites also. All right. That's where you get this Kuza from. Pre-Islamic Arab god of weather. Worshipped by the people of 
Muzdul Lafa, a pre-Islamic rite. All right, so they worshipped this guy, which is possibly an import from the Edomites, which they they had, they occupy the same area in uh, south of Judah. I believe it's Arabia today. All right, so they mix themselves with each other. All right, religion in pre-Islamic Arabia. And the Arabian uh, polytheism, the dominant form of religion in pre-Islamic Arabia, was based on uh, veneration, and veneration means great respect, yeah, of deities and spirits. Worship was directed to various gods and goddesses. All right. Different theories have been processed regarding the role of Allah in uh, Messian religion. Yeah, because Allah was one of the 360 gods that was worshipped, and they picked one, all right? Many of the physical descriptions of pre-Islamic God, because he was a moon god, pre-Islamic gods are traced to idols, especially near the Kaaba, which is said to have contained up to 360 gods, 360 of them. All right, let's see what Allah say. That's God of Islam, but pre-Islamic talking about. The word Allah has been used by Arabic peoples of different regions or different religions uh, since pre-Islamic times. Yeah, Allah is, uh, was one of the 360 gods they picked. The pre-Islamic Arabs worshipped a supreme deity whom they called Allah alongside other lesser deities. Muhammad used the word Allah to indicate the Islamic conception of God. All right. So, that's a little bit on that. And we'll end it with this. So, this is a uh, Nibetian depiction of the goddess at Targatis dating from AD 100. So, this is pre-Islamic. The eagle on her head is believed to be the symbol of Quas. All right. This is why people think some pe people think that the Arabs are are the Edomites. All right, they're not. They just you had a certain of them in North Arabia. I think that yeah, that uh, mingle with the Edomites, which they occupy the same area. Let me get a map. There we look up the uh, Nabetians. It says the Nabetians also. Nabetians were an ancient Arab people inhabiting northern Arabia and the southern Levant. They got 200 BC. Right. Oman. Well, Yemen. Oman's not up here yet. Let's see Petra. Thelonia. Ptolemaic kingdom so he's right in the border all right so they fell under jurisdiction of the Greeks and uh, of the northern Arabian tribes and the Nabetians all right see how they, they share a common area is 200 BC right, so of course you live around a person people you're going to marry them give them in marriage and mingle you know especially you don't have a you know, strict laws against it and whatever. So let's go to 30. You can see that, right? All right. 30 BC from 230. That's, that's where it just jumps. So and you got Petra. All right. It's the Roman Empire in the red. Israel in green. The Northern Arabs, Nabetians. And Petra. So he's still sharing his common area. Persians up there. So go to 100. C. E. 200 C. E. Since 100. Oh, it, you can't click 100. You got to go to 200. Okay, so you jump from 30 B. C. to 200 A. D. We were at 30 BC. Now we're at uh, 200 
A.D. or C.E. All right, you see Petra is absorbed in the Roman Empire. Let's go down to Yemen, Omen. All right, so Petra, so the point was, you know, Petra was under the the, uh, the Arabs, and then the um, Roman Empire took up part of the, uh, the Arab kingdom. All right, so Petra was under the jurisdiction of Roman, Roman Edomites, and then the Ishmaelites at you know, different points of time. Let's see what 500 AD says. You know, Petrus is still within the Roman Empire and, and it's parts of Arabia. All right. Egypt right there in the Nile. All right, so let's go back to 30 BC. All right. And as you can clearly see, it's a part of the Arab tribes in the north, North Arabia. All right. So you're back on Quas, and we'll finish it here. All right, you have the mating between the Edomites, well, the Edomites, this eagle here, and the Ishmaelites. All right, this is why certain people believe that the Arabs are the Edomites, which they're not. All right, just in certain areas, especially in North Arabia, they're making themselves amongst each other. And the Betian depiction of the goddess, uh, a Targatus uh, during uh, dating from AD 100 the eagle on her head is believed to be a symbol of quas alright so I'll leave that there we'll go back to bar quas alright quas the god of the Edomites alright so hope you were edified to the next lesson Shalom